Today, I am making a shulker farm. A shulker farm both efficient and decorated. I've been making some overpowered farms for the most essential materials in Minecraft. This raid farm, this wood farm, and this comically large iron farm. And there's also the storage system which I recently made. All of these need shulker boxes. In the second video of this series, I made a shulker farm. It's not bad, but I just wish it was a bit faster. A bit being a lot. And something else to consider is that this farm is going to be broken by the next update. I'm in version 1.20.1, and in version 1.20.2, Armor stands can be broken by shulker projectiles. So, it's time for an upgrade. I've done some planning ahead in creative, so I already know exactly what I need. I need a ton of purple slabs, and would you believe me if I told you this isn't even half of what I need? Let's go get some more. I didn't want to make a purple farm, so I just bulldozed a few end cities instead. There we go, this should be enough. Next, I need various colors of stained glass, totaling to about 35,000. Back when I needed a couple hundred thousand glass to build the earth, I made this fun and exciting void trading setup. So let's go ahead and use that to get all the glass. All I gotta do is trade with the villagers when I go through the portal, put it in the chest, and repeat. Man, this is so fun and exciting. Yo, I just got all the glass. Now let's go get the rest of the materials. I killed a bunch of withers so I can make a beacon or two, or 57. And I mined up a whole bunch of terracotta. Next was all of the concrete. Believe it or not, my concrete farm is still working, even though it's broken more times than any other farm in this world. I need 9200 scaffolding. I think I've got, yeah, I've got plenty of string here. My bamboo farm, it looks like it's broken, but I think this should be enough. I need almost 4,000 stripped spruce logs. I've already got some pretty good farms to make that happen. And there we go. Next thing I need is 2,000 light gray wool. And yeah, this is not enough. I'm going to die and shear these sheep just to speed things up. Okay, that's not gonna work. I'm just gonna craft the wool instead. And there we go, that was not so bad. Let's see what I need to get next. Oh crap. I spent some time at the coral reef and I was able to get specifically 1400 dead bubble coral blocks. I need 1000 stripped crimson wood. And there we go, this is the bulk of the items that I'm going to need. Everything else I needed was mostly stuff that I had lying around anyways, so I went through the list pretty fast. I think this should be a good spot to have the portal. It's sort of in the middle of these other things that I have in the nether. This is going to be the main way that I get to the farm. I've got everything ready, now let me explain how I'm gonna do this. Here is a decent one dimension shulker farm by ending credits and ball light. I'm going to be building multiple of these in a 2x2x2 two by two by two arrangement to make a total of 8 shulker farms in one enclosed area. And that enclosed area is going to look better than this, I promise. A schematic will be in the description, but to quickly go over how to do this, first make a little container with a snow golem in there. Then a couple layers of slabs and scaffolding, some boats for some reason, and there you go. Before we move on, I should probably address it does kind of look like a stack of ham and cheese. <laughs> Building one was easy, but I still do need to build seven more. The last step to get these farms working is to actually put some shulkers in here. As you can see, I've already done a bit of work in the overworld, nether, and end. And I'm almost ready to get a shulker from an end city to this farm. Before that, I'm just gonna make an on and off switch for all these farms that can be controlled by this one lever. Now to move the shulker, here goes nothing. I'm at my first end portal, I have to delete my respawn point. I gotta build a little rail contraption here. Now we gotta fly to the end city that I have set up. I already have the shulker in a boat, but I gotta kill you. And I'm gonna name this guy just in case. Let's put him in a minecart. Shulker went through the portal. Okay, good, it's going the right way. 
Okay, now I got to get rid of the boat. Ugh. There we go. And the only place for it to go is through the portal. Okay, back to world spawn. There it is. Alright, now I just gotta wait till he teleports to the portal. And I'm gonna throw him some regen just to be safe. Oh, it just went through. Okay, time for the nether part. Alright, same deal. Oh, that was fast. It's in an awkward spot right now, but it should teleport. Yeah, there we go, to the pink. And let's push it up. Alright, it should eject into the farm. Let's get rid of these carts. Oh no, oh, uh, I didn't use enough buttons. Okay, this should be fixable. Man, I've always hated the levitating little balls that they spit out, but I, I'm about to go crazy. Let's make sure we got no smooth surfaces. Okay, please work this time. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes, the shulker is in. Let's get rid of all this. And let's turn the farms on, and good, the shulker is already duplicating. To spread shulkers into the other farms, I tried building bridges, but that was just insane. So I moved them with minecarts that were on hoppers, which shulkers can't teleport to, but can have rails on them. This is where the boxes of shells will be stored. This is a shulker box loader, a glass tube, and one, two contraptions that'll spit out any items that go into it. Now, I gotta connect those hoppers to this dropper. Now, I just gotta do that three more times. I can stock it with shulker boxes from up here. And there we go, the farm is fully functional. Now, it's time for the decorations. I didn't arrange all the farms in a cube for no reason, and you've probably seen the thumbnail, so it's no surprise that I'm making this into a giant shulker box. Or a giant shulker, whatever you want to believe it is. There we go, the entire farm is now encased in this giant shulker. Okay, I know it looks like crap right now, but watch this. Just by adding one layer of glass to everything, we can transform this into this. While building, I had the farm running, and I think I have enough shulker shells to last me forever. So I can go ahead and just blow this up. 